You can really save a bundle if you shop the clearance racks for audio and video gear. I'll talk about it coming up on Thrifty AV. I find a lot of bargains at thrift stores, garage sales, and flea markets, but that's not the only places you can find good deals. Retail clearance sections are another option, and I want to show you some of the stuff I found on a recent retail shopping trip. Dirt cheap at 841 North Judge Ely is like a giant clearance bin. They have some mystery shopping carts called bargain buggies for $10 each. They are covered with paper so you can't tell what's inside. I wonder if there's any AV gear in these. No audio or video gear on this aisle. No AV gear here either. Ah, I found the section I'm looking for. Let's check out the electronics. Man, they have a lot of phone and tablet cases, 60% off the listed price. Do you want to play your audio through a cassette deck? Well, this would come in handy. Here's what looks like a selfie stick, but with a regular camera mount, but even 50% off, it's still $15. These earbuds are 70% off and weren't real expensive to begin with, but I have enough of these already. The good stuff is kept in a section where you have to ask for help. They have quite a selection of Xbox One and PS4 games half off. Cricket phones were 60% off. 50% off this cable box makes it just $25 and you can record TV with it, but I already have a similar device. Browsing the electronic shelf behind the counter requires a good eye, and it's confusing what percentage off the deals are, but I picked up a couple of things. These webcams are $7, and I don't currently own a working webcam. How bad can it be? I'm gonna find out. This Anchor battery is 60% off the marked price of $34.99, so I picked it up for $14. Ross Dress for Less at 3449 Cat Claw Drive in Abilene is another clearance store, usually associated with clothes, but they have an electronic section as well. They had quite a few TV wall mounts. I picked up this full motion Stanley for $24.99. This TV antenna was only $6. Here's another for $5. They had a large variety of Bluetooth headphones like this one and this one. Here's one with a unicorn horn. Bluetooth speakers were also common like this one and this one and this one. This one says it's waterproof. Does anyone need an external battery that looks like a piece of poo? And here are some other deals I found. Sharper image headphones. Senses wireless speaker. Looks like it's also a lamp for $16.99. USB cable $4.99 for a six footer. 8,000 milliamp hours for $17.99. 12,000 milliamp hours for $21.99. Wireless keyboard and mouse, $16.99. Big Lots at 3204 South Clack Street usually has some interesting things on clearance, so let's take a look. At first glance, I didn't see much in the way of AV gear, but it was there. If you use an iPhone, here's a cable for $10.50, regularly $15. A pair of Bluetooth earbuds half price at $5. Here is a dual micro USB USB-C cable. You can save some on an aux cable. This isn't AV gear, but I like these utility knives. This set of headphones looks interesting, but I don't know about the orange. But here's a blue pair I will grab for $5. Here's a Bluetooth speaker with a lightning bolt neon light for $15. I browsed through the discount Blu-rays, but didn't find anything. I found some CDs I like, but they're already in my collection. Office Max was right next door at 3226 South Clack, and I found some stuff there. A Dell all-in-one PC for $450. They had some LCD monitors on clearance. A Wi-Fi range extender for $70. They had a couple of monitor lifts on clearance. Almost every laptop in the store had a clearance tag, but the best deal I found were these micro USB cables for $2.41. I picked up three of them. 
Next up, Target at 3710 Ridgemont Drive. This Casio keyboard is $70, another TV wall mount for $31, and this 160 watt soundbar is only $105. I couldn't do a clearance vid and not check out Walmart. Not much AV gear on the racks, but a deal on a home phone? This 4K TV was marked down to $218. Let's see what Best Buy has to offer. They had a display board with all the clearance items listed. That was nice. This open box Denon receiver is $255. They also had a good deal on this Onkyo for $322. And a Yamaha receiver for $230. They had an open box Sony turntable, fair condition for 46, another in excellent condition for 62. Last stop, Sam's Club, where I found some TVs on clearance. This 65 inch LG was $100 off. They had a 50 inch Samsung for 350, and a 55 inch Samsung for 450. If you want to step up to the 65 inch Samsung, it was $679. Well, I think that was a pretty good haul. If you enjoyed this video or any other in the Thrifty AV series, please like and subscribe. Thank you to my patrons for supporting this channel. And remember, stay thrifty everyone!